Hey everyone, I'm your host Anthony. We do content like this weekly, so hit the subscribe button and ring the bell to get notified. If you want more content like this, click the like button and please leave a comment. Thanks again for watching. All right, so hey everyone and welcome to our live class. We're so excited to have you here today and we're looking forward to a great lecture. My name is Anthony and I'll be your host. I'm joined on the line by Leslie Vitell. She'll be conducting most of the presentation today, and I'm going to pass it off to her momentarily to kick off today's presentation on the topic of sales funnel secrets from cold to close. This is going to be a very exciting topic, so glad you are here to attend. Before we get started, though, I would like to get your feedback. We're very interested in learning more about how we can help you in your practice. So if you would take a brief moment just to participate in this poll here, this will give us an idea of how we can serve you better in your practice. And just a reminder, all of your answers will come in anonymously so nobody else can see what you are putting. So if for those of you, I just want to make sure everybody is seeing this poll. It looks like we're getting some uh, answers coming in. Thank you so much. So we'll just give uh, give everybody just a moment or two to fill out this poll and let us know a little bit more about you and uh, your knowledge of what we are trying to accomplish here uh, with Rupa Health as well. So we'll just give a couple more moments and let everybody who would like to participate, uh, participate. All right. Thank you so much for participating in that. If it's still up on your screen, feel free to answer as you uh, need. Uh, now, I'd like to go over just a few housekeeping items before we begin. I've muted everyone by default. And number two, if you have any questions during the course of this live class, please submit them into the chat panel. There's both a Q&A box as well as a chat panel. Whichever one you'd like, uh, chat panel is will come directly to me as well, though. The questions will come to me as a host, and I'll be conducting a live Q&A at the end of today's live class with Ms. Vitell. And lastly, we'll be hosting a live demo at the end of today's live class with our head of practitioner partnerships. So for those of you who are new to Rupa Health, feel free to stick around if you'd like to learn more about how we can optimize your practice. And for those of you who are already using Rupa Health, thank you. And if you need to get back to your practice or day, feel free to hop off, uh, no need to stick around for that. With that being said, I'd like to hand it off to Ms. Bytel to begin the presentation. All right, hello, hello everyone and welcome. And thank you so much, Anthony. Thank you to Rupa for the invitation to talk to you all today. I'm really excited to be here with you. So my name is Leslie Bytel and I'm a business consultant and mentor for functional medicine practitioners. And today, I'm really looking forward to sharing uh, what I think is gonna be a super helpful topic for each of you on the line today. And that is, we're gonna talk about sales funnel secrets from cold to close. And this is oriented specifically for functional medicine practitioners. So really looking forward to um, sharing today's content. All right, so to jump to kind of jump right in and kick things off here, let's start by thinking about your private practice. So obviously each of you are in a different place in your business building journey. And let's face it, it really is a journey. That said, most commonly, most of us tend to work within the traditional service delivery model, um, you know, really providing one-on-one -on -one services for our clients. And generally this is referred to as the fee-for-service type of model. It's where we work once and then we're paid for our time. And make no mistake, one-on-one -on -one can be really good. It can be you know, great from a financial um, perspective. And it's all quite often the cornerstone of our work. The thing that you're gonna learn today is that if you're stuck only doing one-on-one, -on -one, I believe that you are, you're really missing out on some opportunities to, to really grow your business and scale, create additional revenue streams, and at the end of the day, leaving money on the table. So let's talk about just a few of the drawbacks of the one-to-one -one business model. First, you are trading hours for dollars, so essentially trading your time for money, right? And the issue with this is there is a dollar amount you're eventually going to top out at. Right? You're going to get to a point where it's difficult to increase your revenue by charging more simply because the market won't bear it. Right, You're eventually going to max out on the amount you can charge for one-on-one -on -one work. 
And this is true, obviously, regardless of whether or not you take insurance or you're at the cash model. You're also going to top out on the number of billable hours, right? So there's only so many hours in the day where you can work. So with these restrictions, your income will eventually hit a ceiling and it will be challenging for you to grow in this model because, you know, again, you have no more time for one-on-ones and you're kind of at that ceiling in terms of raising your prices. So it can feel like, you know, you're, you're kind of stuck at this point, unless you look at creating leveraged and passive income streams. So today is all about creating these leveraged and passive income streams as a way for you to expand your business beyond that, um, you know, that typical one-to-one model. And ultimately, here's what I think is the great news. You are going to be able to serve more people, more people in your audience in a more time efficient manner, right? And I really come from the belief that especially in the world of integrative functional medicine, I believe very strongly that, you know, group programs are really the way of the future. So what exactly is leverage versus passive income? Let's just talk about the difference real quick. So leverage income refers to being able to serve more people in any given period of time. Because we have that limited number of hours in a day, you need to be able to use your time really, really effectively. So in order to maximize our time, we can leverage it by serving groups of people versus one-on-one, just like I'm doing here today, right? So in a nutshell, leveraging really equates to working smarter and not harder. We all want that, right? and ultimately allows you to make more revenue per any given hour as compared to what you would make serving one person at a time. All right, on the other hand, passive income refers to generating revenue via assets that you've already created for your business. All right, I'm gonna give you a few examples here, such as digital products, workshops, maybe even an online course. This is generally a standalone product that you create once. And then the beautiful thing is that you are able to passively generate income from this asset. Now, you have to know how to sell these leveraged and passive products. It's not enough nowadays just to create it and and hope people are gonna buy it because generally that's, that's not working out so well. So the reality is you can make the most amazing program full of life-changing tools and support, but if you don't know how to package and sell it, obviously that is not gonna work out so well. So today's webinar is really going to be about how to create, market, and fill these leverage programs and how to actually sell passive income products successfully. So today you're gonna learn the truth about designing and filling lucrative leverage group programs and products, how to turn your expertise into exponential income via these leveraged and passive business models, how to design a sales funnel so that your prospects are effortlessly guided from finding you all the way to buying from you. And that is a process that I'm gonna teach you today. You're gonna learn the proven pricing structure that gives people an easy first step, an easy first buy all the way up to your higher ticket service items. And you're gonna also learn how to be paid in advance to create your first passive income product. Um, And then towards the end, as you can see, we have a lot to cover. I'm gonna give you what I think are the five main keys for filling your successful online course with paying clients. And of course, a lot more. I hope you stay on to the very end because I have three, really, I think, um, three very helpful free gifts that I want to share with you, including complimentary access to uh, one of my paid courses. So I'm gonna share a coupon code for you to get into that course for free. So just a little bit of background on my story for those of you that don't know, and I share this with you because I want to give you a little bit of context as to why I'm so fired up and incredibly passionate about this topic on, because I implemented these exact strategies in my own business that I'm going to teach you today 
And I, I'm here to say it was absolutely life-changing for me. So a few years back, I was chugging along. I had a nice, you know, private practice in um, nutrition, specifically mindful eating and functional nutrition. Specifically, I was specializing in neurological disorders, but I was hitting some of those limitations that I mentioned earlier, right? I had really, I was maxing out on the number of hours in the day to serve one-on-one -on -one clients. I was pretty full, which I know is a really good problem to have. It's great, but also because there was an expected rate for my work, my income, I felt like it had really topped out um, in terms of what the market would bear. So, and of all things, my two kiddos, as you can see here, were in high school. And let me tell you, it was not lost on me <clears throat> that college was right around the corner, right? And any parents out there who've had that sticker shock experience of paying for college, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> so what I realized is I needed a very big cash infusion. Um, a cash infusion that was higher, uh, a higher number than you know one or two more clients would provide. And again, I really wanted to start to move away from purely working within the one-to-one -one model. So what I ended up doing was realizing that I needed to bundle my expertise into a course, right? Into this course model so that many people could take the course at the same time. Not only would I be able to make exponentially more revenue from that, but again, each participant would be making a smaller, easier investment as compared compared to working with me privately. So it was a really good first step. And I love the idea of being able to serve more people, especially those who perhaps weren't in a financial position to be able to work with me privately. Um, because I was leveraging my time by moving into this, what we call one to many model, I knew that for the hours I invested, my ultimate income would be higher as compared to the one-on-one -on -one, uh, model. So bottom line is I put together my first um, program. It was a course. The price point in my case was $497. It was a six week program. I knew it was gonna be super helpful, again, to have this lower price point where people could easily step into working with me. And, um, and it was an incredible experience. Um, in my very first six week course, um, and again, that price point was only 497. I was able to enroll, gosh, it was like 63 people into that program. So obviously do the math there. It was a, an amazing way to jumpstart my college, uh, my son's college savings account. And it was really so much fun to be able to serve people in this group model. And interestingly, one of the really awesome things about this model is after I serve people in this course, this group program, many of those people went on to work with me in other um, areas of my business, including um, some, some private work. So the thing I do wanna share with you and the reason I am so passionate about the, teaching this topic for health practitioners is I know without a shadow of doubt that you too can do this in your business. Okay, I've helped, I mean, I've seen it over and over again and it is seriously life-changing. Um, so regardless of whether or not you wanna leverage your time with a group workshop or scale your business with an online course or maybe a passive income product, it's absolutely possible. All right, so let's jump in. Let's talk about um, what I like to call the no like and trust factor. And I do wanna be really clear this is the very essence of a sales funnel, okay? Seriously, it's a process through which your clients eventually, they, they get to know you, they come across your work, they, they somehow meet you. Um, they get to consume your content, right? Enjoy your material, um, get to utilize your resources, they get to know you, right? And really, I guess the bottom line, they get to experience your brilliance is really the truth of the matter. They get to experience the value of what you're creating. And then this is what leads people to feel really confident and comfortable in moving to that next level, right? So after they consume your free content, 
and that's we're going to talk about like the different um, funnels that you can create they're then offered an opportunity to actually purchase something from you right and this is like a very big picture view of of a sales funnel and the thing that i want to be really clear about here guys is that all too often people practitioners right we I see it a lot. We, we, we expect people to buy um, as, you know, without like all these intermediate steps, right? These warming up steps. So too many people expect others to buy from them cold is another way to say that. And I just want to be clear that that's not a good, it's not really the way it works, especially in this online space. Um, and I get the question all the time, for example, someone asking, Leslie, why is my social media or my Instagram not bringing in clients, right? I'm posting every day, I'm posting my heart out. And often when I dig in, I see that there's no strategy, no strategic sales funnel, and that the person is just kind of expecting to get these you know, high-end clients without any of these in between steps designed to get the prospective client really excited about what's possible. So um, I want to be clear that people, our audience, our respective audiences, we they need to trust that you've got the goods. And, um, and when you're able to do this effectively, um, you're going to be in a really good position to sell really whatever it is that in the docket, right? Whether it's a passive income product, filling groups, filling your high-end programs. So let me introduce you to a model that I like to use for designing your business. And I call this the profit pyramid. The purpose of a profit pyramid is really, I wanna help you to outline the different types and levels of services that you will offer to your audience again at various price points. And essentially be able to turn your expertise and trust me, whatever your expertise is, I'm really confident that we can turn it into various revenue streams inside of your business. So I'm gonna show you where online courses and programs and all these things fit into the overarching game plan. I'm gonna start at the top of the profit pyramid um, in the segment, that tippy top section entitled private clients. And the reason I start here is because again, most people in the health and wellness market um, begin with the one-on-one -on -one clients because you know, it's, you know, one-on-one -on -one clients are easier to book as compared to selling a larger program. It's one consultation or, or conversation that gets a private client to say yes with working for you. So it's usually an easy place to start um, to get paying clients. The reason it's at the top of the pyramid, which you're going to see as I flesh this out, is that private clients get the most one-on-one -on -one customized, individualized attention from you as compared to all the other um, levels on this profit pyramid, all right? And they're also paying the highest rate um, as compared to some of these more leveraged offers. I'm gonna jump to the bottom of this model um, and this is your free stuff, okay? So now we're gonna just talk about free and you'll notice on this profit pyramid that as we go from top to bottom, the price decreases, okay? So really an important, um, uh, factor to consider. So let's talk about free. One of the first things you'll do after you have a handful of private clients um, is you are going to want to start to create some free resources that allow you, again, to develop that know, like, and trust factor. So it could be an ebook, it could be a checklist, a video series, or some other kind of free resource, again, that provides value, garners respect, and trust in the marketplace right? So super important there. All right. So let's work our way up the profit pyramid. One step up from free could be your home study products. Um, and in my model, that's exactly what it is. These are typically downloadable, you know, downloadable products, you know, you might have on your website. They include things like audios, videos, workbooks, and, you know, things like that. Um, Generally speaking, there are no live elements included. Um, they're, they're, they're purely evergreen, meaning, you know, they're available all the time. You create the asset and it's done, right? Very um, passive after it's created. 
Generally speaking, in terms of to give you a price point, I would estimate on average around 47 to 147, somewhere in that ballpark, give or take. The next level up on your pyramid would be like a paid webinar series or some kind of a masterclass series. For example, a, you know, you might do a six week program, something that meets once a week is live, perhaps over Zoom through a webinar platform. Um, maybe you decide to include a little bit of Q&A time, right? So maybe, and there's lots of different ways we can set this up, but maybe you've got some live interaction as well. And this middle level product, again, there's a lot of variants here, but I do want to just kind of give you a ballpark in terms of what I'm seeing. Um, in the ballpark of 197, maybe up to 997. And remember that example I gave you, that really life-changing first course I launched, it was exactly at this level, it was a six week course. We met live every week on Zoom um, and I priced it at 497, okay? So we're pretty much right in the middle. All right, let's go one step up. One step up is your high ticket signature, generally high ticket signature group program. Now guys, this is a really, really exciting, I think, exciting opportunity. And I am seeing great success with practitioners, specifically functional medicine practitioners in this segment of your profit pyramid. It could be a hybrid program where you're taking a small group of people through a high touch program. Maybe you're including lots of personalized, you know, um, attention, not only in the group format, but let's just say uh, what makes it a hybrid would be that maybe you decide that each person gets a certain amount of one-on-one -on -one time with you as well over the course of the program. So one thing that I am seeing here is um, for my clients who are in the functional medicine space, like I said, they're having really great success at this level. And so maybe they're doing like, I don't know, like a three, maybe it's a little lot like a three month kind of a program, again, hybrid. So um, most of the program meets as a group, but let's say they also want to have some personalization involved. So they might even offer some lab tests at this level. So maybe lab tests, and then maybe each person gets like um, one or two or maybe three one-on-one -on -one private sessions. So do you see how it's kind of a hybrid approach where you're mixing group and maybe some private sessions into the mix as well? Obviously that's that personalization is going to drive the price point up. And um, um, so obviously, you know, we're looking at a little bit of a higher price point. I would say anywhere from 997 to 2497. And again, these are just estimates. Now we're back up to the tippy top with our private client. And I don't want to stipulate a particular price point at this level because your packages and fees can vary greatly at this level. So the key here though, that I do want to emphasize is I hope that you're bundling your one-on-one -on -one services into a comprehensive program or package that's really designed to solve your client's main challenges, okay? So my hope is, is that you're, you have moved away from those a la carte sessions. Um, if you haven't done that yet, I would say this is a great place for you to start just to help you to kind of prioritize. If you haven't gone into the programs and package model, I would say probably a good place to start at this, at this level. All right. And again, of course, um, in the private one-on-one uh, -on -one package and program type of model, you can easily integrate functional lab testing into this model. You can include those lab tests either a la carte or you can work them into the program. So um, I help my clients do that all the time. Okay. So again, this is how your profit pyramid would look top to bottom, right? So now what I want to do is I want to walk you through some different, um, some different paths to fill your services and courses. And now guys, these, these are examples of what I would call sales funnels. Just to be clear on the language, I really recommend that you jot down some, some notes in this section because it's going to be this, this process, making some decisions around your sales funnel is a critical component to your business plan, regardless of which service level you're wanting to focus on inside of that profit pyramid. 
Okay, so there's infinite number of combinations that are going to work, but I'm going to walk you through just um, a handful of specific examples just to illustrate how that know, like, and trust factor can bring potential new clients all the way from finding you to that purchase decision. All right, so here we have a very basic path, right? So here you would offer some kind of a freebie like a workbook or a, a video, PDF or checklist, something of value. And from there, we direct your, um, your, your, your person, right? Your, the person that's opt in, your viewer, right to an intriguing sales page, describing your paid program with an opportunity right there to purchase. So in this example, the freebie, again, created some trust. Um, and then we send them to a well-written sales page, especially you know, to a lower, a, a paid product at a lower price point, right? Kind of, you know, it, it could be that um, six week, you know, group course. It, it could be any of those things. And, and the beauty of this is that you're able to generate sales right then and there just by providing the freebie and then leading that down that path, leading that person down the path to um, get them to check out your sales page for your paid product. All right, now let's look at a slight variation. So um, starting at the top, what if you were to have some kind of freebie, right? Again, a workbook, a checklist, some kind of cool PDF. And from there, you invite people into a deeper experience with you. For example, maybe a, um, you know, a 45 or 60 minute webinar, right? So you make that webinar chock full of amazing information and content. Um, plus the benefit to this model is that they get the experience of seeing you, right? Experiencing you live and, um, uh, sometimes these webinars are, you know, pre-recorded. It really depends on the format you pick, but video is a great way, regardless of live or pre-recorded. It's such a good way to um, further establish that know, like, and trust. And when you do that, right, people are hearing you, they're seeing you, they're experiencing your brilliance. They're more likely to go to the sales page as the third step to buy a, you know, um, the next step, whatever that is in your funnel, like a medium ticket course or group program. And um, just a quick note here, generally for my launches now, um, generally this is the model that I use. And I will say it's a little bit more complicated, obviously, because you're going from like a freebie to a webinar to the sales page. So there is a little bit of tech involved, um, but it really is very effective. All right, let's look at another model, shall we? So let's look at um, uh, another way you could go, which would be um, essentially skipping that free PDF um, and just going right to a webinar. So you could offer a webinar to your community and um, like a masterclass or something like that. And then from that webinar, you're inviting your audience into uh, perhaps a deep dive one-on-one -on -one conversation with you where you would, you know, they would get to know you better. You would help them make a decision in terms of what is next in their journey. And some of those folks will be ready to sign up based on that one-on-one -on -one conversation. So guys, to be clear, you're inviting them to a webinar. On that webinar, your call to action is, hey, you know, I'm, I'd love to, you know, get on the phone or, you know, I'm offering X number of sessions. Um, let's get on the phone. And, you know, you're get, being really clear on what the purpose of the session is, right? You're providing value. And then you are offering the next step in their journey, which is, you know, whatever paid product that you're wanting to, um, to sell, right? And to be clear, I am seeing a lot of success with this particular model. Again, where you're inserting a conversation with a potential buyer before enrolling them into the program. I will say this model here is especially helpful for your higher end, uh, like those hybrid programs, right? Your higher end hybrid programs or even your one-on-one. -on -one. Um, your high-end one-on-one type of signature packages. 
So um, I am seeing a lot of success with this. So guys, to be clear, um, we're not sending people necessarily to a sales page to purchase. We are instead saying, hey, let's jump on the phone and you know, let's have a session, a complimentary you know, 30 minute session. And then on that call, you are offering them that next step, which again is a paid step, okay? All right, so here is uh, the model with an extra step put in. Now, again, a little more complicated or complex from a tech standpoint, but very, very effective. First, you might offer a freebie, right? Like a really cool PDF or a checklist or something of value. Then you move them into a webinar, and then we move them into a one-on-one -on -one conversation designed to provide value and also to enroll people into that next paid step. So just another path to consider. And um, again, this is really, really effective, especially for higher end uh, programs. All right, so let's talk about another one. Um, what about doing maybe a three-day Facebook Live challenge or some kind of a challenge that happens to be live and you're offering it maybe in a private Facebook group. So I do see this model working really well as well. Um, so here you might, um, I can give you a quick example. So I actually have a client, her name is Sandra. She does this three times a year and it's awesome. So she has a three day challenge that she does in a private Facebook group. One of her challenges is called crush the sugar cravings, okay? Um, really, really successful. People love it. She uses this challenge as a way to grow her email list, provide tons of value before she invites the audience into that next step, which is a paid six-week course. And what's really cool about this is that after these the participants go through the six-week paid course, then she's in a great position in her case to effortlessly enroll many of these participants into, you know, an even, uh, um, in her case, a high-end private type of program. And so this is a very, very profitable funnel for her. So what I want to be clear on is there's many paths, okay? Please write this down. There's not a one perfect way to do this. There's many options indefinite in, to the, in, in terms of the way you can combine different elements. But in each case, there was a logical path from one step to the next, to the point where the person was eventually invited into that paid experience, all right? So you just have to figure out what, you know, what is the good, best fit for you. Now what I wanna do is I wanna give you an overview on the different design models for your group program. Um, your group, pro one common type of program is called an open closed enrollment program, another one, in the middle is an evergreen program, and then you've got a membership program. So I just wanna give you a quick overview on these different types of programs that you might consider offering. All right, so first you've got an open closed enrollment type of program, which would be like an upcoming live course, right? So let's say that you're gonna start the course, this program on a specific day and time. Generally, that's what we're doing here. So everyone in the group starts together at the same time, goes through the process together. And it's maybe the kind of thing where you launch once or twice a year, but in between, it's just not happening, right? It's, it's live, everyone starts together. Um, and um, so this type of course could have some, uh, several live elements. I mean, the whole thing could be delivered live or you could have like pre-recorded modules with some maybe live, you know, every other week, some live Q and A, there's a whole bunch of different ways to do it. But the thing I wanna point out is that there's a start date and a stop date, right? So the open closed enrollment. So quick example, let's say you're wanting to sell a course, just, you know, um, an, an eight week course on how to heal your gut. And note that in this example, it is live, right? So we're meeting every week for, um, you know, for eight weeks and, uh, let's say that the course starts in this example, October 13th, 2021. So everybody's starting on the same day. It's not a home study course. Everyone goes through together. When it's over, it's over until the next time you offer it, right? This is a one-to-many leverage model, right? One trainer, you, and many people. And again, this is what I did in my first launch, right? That, that course that was so life-changing for me. 
few benefits I want to point out with this model. What I like about the open closed enrollment type of model is it's really easy to offer some pretty cool incentives and incentives are kind of important. I really like to offer incentives just to help people kind of the sweeten the sweeten the pot, right? To make it like a really easy decision for people to step in. So um, I wanna share a couple of incentives that are really effective. One would be an early bird savings, right? This is very effective. So essentially it's super easy to do this in the open, um, you know, the live open closed type of enrollment program. You know, the price is at X, right, until a certain date. And then after that date, it goes up to the regular price, right? This is super effective. It does create a sense of urgency and it's very effective. Another great type of bonus I highly recommend is called a fast enrollment bonus. A little different, okay? What this is, is for people that, you know, like X, the first 10 people get a special thing, right? So it's a little different. I highly recommend it trying to integrate both of these bonuses into this type of lodge. Evergreen program. So the evergreen program model, um, very attractive. Uh, a lot of people, you know, obviously this is attractive because, you know, it's a way for you to truly create passive income. Generally speaking, in the evergreen program, your assets are pre recorded. Generally speaking, that's the way it's done. People can join anytime. It can be done, you know, offered year round. So it can provide like an ongoing um, regular revenue stream for you. And one thing I do want to point out, there's a lot of different ways to set this up, but you might decide to offer it year round and maybe you want to add more value, right? And one way to do that would be to say, hey, you know, anyone that signs up for this course, you go through it, you matriculate through it on your own, but as a special bonus or uh, part of the, part of the um, investment, we're going to meet once a month, anyone can join, and I'm going to do a live Q&A, right? So just like there's any multitude of combinations that, that you can use. So again, let's use an example here, that um, eight-week Heal Your Gut uh, course that we talked about. In this case, in this model, the Evergreen model, we're gonna pre-record the modules, can start anytime, right? So it's not like everybody has to sign up at the same time. You've got rolling admissions and, um, oops, let's see here. You've got rolling admissions. And the idea here is that, you know, your sales page is available all the time, right? So you would essentially be promoting people, um, moving people into this funnel pretty much year round. A few benefits. Again, one big benefit is you can drive people to this, um, to the sales funnel anytime because it's always up, you know, anything from guest speaking articles, you know, guest um, blogging, uh, guest podcasting, et cetera. You know, you've got a place to send people as a next step. And you can also run ads, which can be a really effective way to move people into your funnel. Membership programs. I just wanna give you a few thoughts on that model as well, because this I'm seeing this more and more often. So a membership model is like an ongoing group that continues indefinitely. Generally, you're billing month to month. Um, um, people can um, stay as long as they like. You can have a nice consistent monthly revenue stream in this model. And I've seen this model work extremely well in several functional medicine um, niches. And you know, the couple that I can think of that did really well uh, included autism and then uh, IBD and also weight management. So I've seen people, you know, really successful practitioners in this model, um, really in a variety of different niches. So I think that this is a really interesting way to go. So let's just look at a quick example. So let's pretend your membership program is called the IBS Wellness Tribe. Just made that up. <laughs> um, and so it's basically ongoing month to month program. Every single month you're adding new topics and um, counsel and training around, you know, important, you know, topics related to IBS. And um, 
uh, you know, it, it, it's a very interesting model because people generally can join anytime, $47 a month. So it is a high volume, low price type of model, generally speaking. Maybe you would include a couple of live calls to the entire group. So basically, this is more volume. So it's going to be a bigger group because the price point's so low, right? And maybe they get access to, you know, this resource library that you've created as part of the membership. I do have a couple of recommendations to, in terms of filling a membership program. I do think you need early adopters. So obviously, you know, you want to get um, a handful of people on board so that, you know, so that there's some group interaction um, right from the get-go. I do love the idea of um, offering like a founder member incentive. So basically you're locking people in at a lower price point by them. It's an incentive for them to join early, right? And this works extremely well. And, um, and you can also integrate some of these other fast enrollment bonuses. Another thought moving forward is, you know, you can eventually kind of empower some of your really active members to become moderators, right? So that is um, uh, kind of an interesting way to, to grow and to kind of really get other people that are in the membership uh, more involved uh, from a leadership perspective. All right, so um, just wanna remind you, just like Evergreen Courses, you're, you can always drive people to your membership program because it doesn't have a specific start date and end date. So that's a really important thing. I wanna give you a quick overview of five, I think really critical tips or keys um, to help you to be successful. I wish I knew these in advance, right? So I'm gonna share what I think are five, again, really important um, keys or strategies that I want you to think about as you start to plan your path into this leveraged and scalable business model. Tip number one, please don't skip this step. Be absolutely sure that you know what your audience wants. And it might sound obvious because we as practitioners, like we know our audience pretty well. It's so interesting though, because to be successful in this leverage model, I think you need to ask your audience just to be really blunt. Um, we kind of think we know what they, what they, we definitely know what they need. We don't always know what they want. And that's really one of the crucial differences. So I want you to take the time to get really clear on what it is they want. In my case, just kind of going back to when I first stepped into this leveraged model, you know, with my first course, what I did is I really, I was trying to decide what should the topic be, right, for my first course. And so um, what, you know, bottom line is you really want to look at what your audience's most pressing and urgent need is, okay? What is the most pressing and urgent need? And that's what you want your topic to be on for your first program. So in my business, you know, when I was looking at hmm, what, what topic could I, uh, should I teach? I began to listen. I interviewed my audience. I really listened. I paid close attention. And what I found at that time was one of the biggest challenges was how to have a really great discovery call. Like the sales process, because so many of people in my audience, health practitioners, they hate the idea of selling, right? I'm sure many of you can relate. So, and I knew that I could teach this in a way that was highly compelling, really authentic, natural, and would feel good to the practitioner. And bonus, it would result in a whole bunch of yeses, okay? So that was the urgent need. So I decided to create a course. My whole course was on turning their consultations into paying clients, right? So that is what I created, a six-week course called Consultations That Convert, okay? So key thing, 
find the most urgent problem and solve it in your course, okay? So figure out what your audience desperately needs by listening, interviewing, you know, you can do a little market research in Facebook groups, do your homework and do what people want solved now, okay? Really important. Be sure, this is tip two, make sure that your free content delivers value. Super important. Um, I Too often I see people in the marketing world, and I'm sure you've seen this yourself, really offering stuff that isn't super valuable. It feels like a sales job. It doesn't feel good to the recipient. It doesn't come across as generous. Um, the client ends up feeling a little bit manipulated and I don't want that to be you, okay? So please make sure that your webinar, whatever free stuff you're offering delivers useful content, even from those people, they may never end up buying and that's okay. Your job is to provide great content. Tip three, you don't need to fill your entire course before you begin selling it. This is huge. Um, some people get so wrapped up about the idea of creating all of the modules, making sure everything is perfect, every handout is done, that they don't end up even, honestly, getting started. They don't even begin. So I don't want that to be you. The secret, here's what you need to know in order to sell your course. Pre-sell your course, okay? Know your subject matter. You got to nail that. Have an outline, know how it's gonna be broken down, what, what's gonna be taught. Obviously you need a, a really great name for the course. And if you have these things in place, then you can begin to market. Seriously, you don't have to have every single piece created before you can market. Um, you can actually create the course one week at a time uh, as you deliver it for the first time. So very important. So again, Here's what you need, an outline. Um, you do need an outline, but flushing out the scripts, handouts, et cetera, you can do that as you go. You can see how people are learning as you're delivering it because you might decide to tweak things and um, you might figure out, gosh, I need to kind of pivot a little bit here based on what I'm learning. And so that is what I recommend. Tip four, you can be paid to create a passive income product. And um, this is really exciting as well. So essentially what you do, you deliver your course live for the first time, right? So you're enrolling people into the course, you're delivering it live, you record it and you're bundling up those recordings and selling it as a passive income product for later, right? Which is super cool. Um, you package it all up into a little bundle for future sales. And I like the strategy because it does assure that it has been sold to a paying audience, right? Before you just try to do a passive income product, slap it on your website and hope for the best, right? This is a much better way to go about it. So um, in terms of pre-selling, uh, you're gonna promote the entire program in detail. You're gonna, you know, ideally you're gonna let people know it's available on X date. Um, so the entire conversion sequence, you know, as, as I've taught you in this masterclass, um, you know, you're, you're gonna do the entire sales funnel and launch sequence essentially. And honestly, if it turns out that you don't get enough people, you can pivot, right? You can, you can pivot the strategy, um, there's a lot of different things that you can do, or you can say, you know what, um, clearly I, I, I chose a topic that maybe wasn't super urgent. So I'm going to, I'm going to kind of scrap this idea and, and, and do something else. Right. So it, it is a great way to get paid in to, to end up creating the product. But so again, most likely you will have been prepaid to create a product that you can package up and sell as a passive income stream later. All right, tip five, this is our last tip. I do want to let you know, um, consider this. When your client, your audience is looking at your offer, 
it is helpful to minimize the risk, right? Because many people, they are a little nervous about investing. So what I have found one way to help people overcome the fear of investing is to reverse the risk. And specifically, I'm talking about your group programs and online and your courses. I'm not suggesting that you give a money back guarantee on your one-on-one -on -one work. Okay, guys, to be clear. So um, again, people are generally risk averse. So I, we can make them feel more comfortable by taking this additional step. So how do you reverse the risk? You could offer a money back guarantee. Key point, it really needs to be time limited, right? So for example, attend the first two classes. If it's not for you, we give you a money back, you know, give you your money back, right? Some people, um, so definitely make sure it's time limited. Sometimes I see people saying, okay, you get your money back. We do offer a guarantee, but you have to prove you did the work. I don't personally do that, but that is an option. Um, alternatively, you could offer credit for a future program if the person finds it's not a good fit. So I want to remind you today about something we talked about and really just to drive this point home, you're, you're developing the like, know, and trust for filling your program, right? Because you want to serve your audience through these no-cost resources and then invite them into the next logical step, right? And ideally, you're minimizing the risk, all right? So now we're going to wrap up. I want to leave a few minutes for Q&A. I do have, like I said, three pretty awesome free gifts for you. And the first one is a, an ebook that I wrote. It's awesome. Word for word scripts to help you to overcome I can't afford it and some other really common objections that you may be hearing in your enrollment conversation, or your discovery calls. Go to lesliebytel.com forward slash objections to grab that ebook. And then I've got, um, this is relatively new. I created seven lead generation tools. One of the most common challenges I hear from my clients is, gosh, I need more leads. I need more people reaching out to me. So I put together seven tools and you can grab those for free by going to lesliebytel.com forward slash lead dash gen. And then finally, I'm really excited to offer this. This is brand new. This is a course that I created um, called Create Website Copy That Makes You Money. Okay, now you can go to lesliebytel.com forward slash CWC and at checkout, use the coupon code LB20, capital L, capital B20 at checkout and you'll be able to grab that course for free. All right, guys, if you have any questions or anything at all, I am here to help. So drop me a line at leslie at lesliebytel.com. Let me know what you need, how I can help. And um, yeah, so I am going to get out of my uh, screen share and hopefully we can take a few questions. Thank you so much, Leslie. That was great. <laughs> Such an informative topic. Having this knowledge, I think can truly uh, help practitioners and tra transform their practices that, so that they can help more people. So really fascinating. Thank you. So we received a few questions during the presentation. We're going to get to those right now. So let's just jump right in. The first question that we have is, how do you determine the price points for each of your healthcare packages? Mm, okay. Um, I think, honestly, what it really depends most is the level of personalized attention, right? So if you look at that profit pyramid, your private one-on-one -on -one packages, that's going to be your highest price point, right? I, I mean, I see such a huge span um, at, at that price point. I mean, I have some clients, like I'll, I'll kind of give you a little, you know, like an average what I'm seeing. I see a lot of my clients doing like a three month program that includes like six sessions or so. Basically you're meeting with the client every other week. Um, and, you know, I'd say on average, I'm seeing like, you know, 1500, I, I have some people like in the, in the 3000 range, but the thing I want to be clear about is it really depends on what's in the package, right? Like if, if you're offering labs, 
Well, you want to make sure that you're, you know, you're, you're counting that, right? So if it's going to include labs, honestly, I'm seeing price points more often than not in like the 3000 and up range, to be really honest with you. So, and then I did give you some, um, just some general guidelines for those lower price point options in that profit pyramid, right? Any, I mean, and it's a, it's a huge variance. So hopefully that gives you a little bit to go on, but again, that one-on-one -on -one work, it's so dependent on what's offered, the duration. Honestly, it, it also depends on um, your positioning, right? Like who is it for? What are the problems that this package is gonna solve? So um, anyway, I hope that's helpful. So in terms of giving you some ideas in terms of where to start. Great answer. Hopefully that uh, answered the question. Uh, looks like some people are actually asking, uh, Leslie, if you can share the website and coupon code again, uh, if you oh, want sure. to share that in the chat for everybody, um, as well. Yeah. And then moving on to question number two, do you think it is a requirement to post on social media to get patients? Uh, the social media question, <laughs> um, you know what, here's how I look, uh, let me just let me just say, I think it depends. It depends. Like I have worked with clients um, who didn't want to do social media right out of the gate, right? And so what I help people to do is to find like, what is that low hanging fruit? How can we jumpstart and get you, you know, clients, patients into your business very quickly we, so, I mean, it, it could be networking. It could be through referral sources. It could, like, there's other ways to jumpstart your practice. And in the example, you know, that I was um, alluding to, like, I worked with a client recently who was like, Leslie, oh, social media, like, I just don't want to do it yet. I got to jumpstart things. So in her case, we leveraged, you know, um, referral sources, relationships, like we did all these things she was able, I mean, she made a, a nice chunk of, of money to be really honest with you. And then in her case, we're like, okay, now we're ready for social media, right? So my recommendation is there's no have to's here. Seriously, I would just say, figure out where your low hanging fruit is and then get started there and add on. And if you're really into social media, then by all means, go out of the gate and do social media. But I, I don't, I don't look at any business that way. To me, every business is like a fingerprint, right? It's like, it kind of depends on what you're good at, what you enjoy and what your opportunities are, okay? Let me be clear, social media, it, it is helpful. So I don't wanna leave you with the impression that, oh, you know, it is helpful. I believe though, it's part of the puzzle. It's not the whole thing. Like one thing I do see sometimes I see some people who put all of their eggs in the Instagram basket, 100%, like that's all they're doing. And, and then they're like, oh gosh, you know, I don't recommend you put all of, you know, all 100% of your efforts in that basket. It needs to be mixed. So I hope that helps. <laughs> Great response. Thank you for that. We're going to jump into question number three. Uh, next question, which is, can you discuss the freebies again? What are some things oh, that I yeah. can offer my clients and patients? Okay, love that. Okay, so, um, okay, so freebies, such, I mean, I could give a whole entire presentation just on that. Okay, but let me give you a quick overview. The thing I want you to get clear, so with your freebie, the thing I want you to be aware of is um, you're, you're not solving all of their problems, okay? As practitioners, and I know, cause I am one, right? So I, guys, I was right in your shoes. I wanted to give it all. I wanted to like, you know, just like throw everything in the kitchen sink, right? And the thing I wanna be clear about is you, with your freebie, I want you to think of like, let's say the ch entire chain, like giving your client from un, you know, unhealthy to healthy is zero to a hundred right? What I want you to do when you think of your freebie is think of like, what problem can you solve that gets them 10% of the way, 
right? 10% of the way, you're solving a problem, an urgent problem, hopefully. So um, here's some of the things I see that work really well, like a checklist, infographics, like if you've got a process, um, you can put it in like an infographic format. Um, you could do an ebook. I've seen, and it really depends on your niche. I've seen people be very successful with like um, a three-day meal plan, but guys, not just, hey, here's a meal plan. The meal plan needs to help the person do something, right? Like to, you know, help you to lose the belly fat or, you know, like there has to be a benefit in there. So be really clear about that. Um, so hopefully that gives you some ideas to start. You're providing value, but it's a sliver. It's not a hundred percent, right? Um, the more specificity you have, the better. Okay. So just case in point, I had an ebook. I still have it. It's an awesome ebook. It's, I think it was called the seven um, pillars to creating a profitable practice. Really, really good. 30 plus pages long, right? Awesome. What I discovered was when I took a sliver of that and like created the ebook that I shared with you on how to handle objections, like that ebook performs extremely well because I'm solving one problem, right? I'm not trying to solve everything. So hopefully that gives you some um, ideas on where to start. Amazing answer. Thank you for that, Leslie. You know what? I'm going to uh -huh. let you take uh, just a moment to share that uh, that okay. link and website before I ask okay. you. It looks like we have time for, for just okay, one last awesome. question as well. But just okay. for those of those that are in attendance that are still wondering about the link and, and codes in the chat. And just a reminder, uh, uh, this recording and slides will be shared with everybody after the presentation is over today. So thank you again for attending. And it looks like we have time for one more question today. And that is, why do all of the prices that you showed, Leslie, end in the number seven? Oh, I love that. So uh, what a great observation. Um, okay. I know it sounds strange, but there actually is some science behind that. Um, you know, this, the, the, and I, 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 bottom line, I'll just cut to the chase. Um, seven seem to sell better. Okay. So I learned that a long time ago and um, they just seem to like the human brain just kind of accepts those numbers a little bit more readily. And so, uh, you know, it's kind of a habit by now. I just, I um, pretty much all of my prices end in seven. And that's how I teach my clients as well. So it's really just based on um, some interesting research on, on pricing. So um, seven seem to work better than nines. So, um, and better than fives as well. So, yeah, so that's why. Great, great question though. Very fascinating. Thank you so much for answering all those questions, Leslie. So I know we weren't able to get to everyone's question today, but please reach out to us after this live class if you still need help. So again, thank yeah. you so much for attending today's live class. I want to give a huge shout out to Leslie Bytel. This was such an interesting and helpful presentation to really understand the entire sales process for practitioners. So we hope to see you all at the next live class. But before you leave, Adrian Martinez, who is our head of practitioner partnerships at Rupa Health, is going to put on a live demo right now for all of you. So if you'd like to learn more, please stick around. And Adrian, thank you so much for joining us. And the floor is yours. Amazing. Thank you, Anthony. And thank you, Leslie, for that amazing presentation. Uh, just to start off, uh, you know, my, my name is Adrian. I am the head of practitioner partnerships, as Anthony just mentioned, at Rupa Health. What I'd love to do um, is chat to you all about Rupa Health. Who are we? Why are we putting on these presentations, right? And what is our role um, within functional medicine? Um, I just dropped my email, just so you're aware, inside of the chat. Um, so if you have any questions following up with this or want a more personalized demo that might make more sense to you and your business, feel free to reach out. Happy to schedule something more on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Um, but I'll be quick here, right? Who is Rupa Health? What do we do? Rupa Health is a functional lab platform designed to modernize the way that you traditionally think about uh, the way that you're ordering tests. So 
traditionally, what you might be doing is going to each individual lab portal to order your tests, right? It could be a lot of passwords to manage. Um, you have to go back and forth between each portal to view all your results, so on and so forth. What we've done at Rupa is we've brought on 20 plus different specialty labs all into one place, allowing you as a practitioner to place your orders, track and manage and view the status and results all within your Rupa dashboard. The second and equally as important component to Rupa that we've built out is the patient experience. So as soon as you place an order on Rupa, we can effectively take it from there. Um, we can manage the billing for you by offering a number of different billing options outside of cash and credit. Um, or of course, you have the option of managing the billing and paying for the test yourself. So let's say if you are doing things such as a program and the cost of your tests are baked into the cost of that program, you as a practitioner have that option of paying for the labs yourself and then billing the patient separately through that program. We'll send over our own customized FAQs and instructions, so they're extremely uh, comprehensive, but more importantly, they're very user-friendly. If the patient has any questions along the way, they go ahead and reach out to us and our team, and we'll manage any support questions, any admin questions that they have that you might traditionally have had to deal with on yourself or by yourself or your staff had to worry about. We'll take on that bearing or that, that load for you, right? So freeing up you as a practitioner more time to focus on your patients and your clients. So from there, you're alerted as the results come in. And again, you're able to view all the results in one place. So as you can see here, what I'm sharing right now is just rupahealth.com. Um, to go to your dashboard, you'll be able to just log in. If you have a clinic set up, we can actually add multiple different providers onto one single uh, account. So you'll all be able to log onto one account and view all of your results in one place without having to have separate results. What you're viewing here is the Rupa Health dashboard. So again, just for the sake of time, I'm not going to go into too much detail, but I, what I do want to show you just first and foremost is how you place an order and how simple that is. To place an order on Rupa Health, we just need three bits of information. We need the patient's first name, last name, and email address. From there, we collect everything else directly from the patient to complete the order. And we do this for a couple of reasons. The first reason is one, to make it easier and more streamlined for you to place an order. And two, to ensure the accuracy of the information that we're collecting from the patient. Patients can move, their information can change. And so we'll go ahead and collect all that data from the patient to complete the order. Once you're in the ordering screen that you're seeing here, the first sets of tests that you'll see up at the top under favorites are gonna be bundles. So we can actually create custom bundles on Rupa. A bundle will be a set of tests, a set of blood panels, a combo of blood panels and tests, really whatever you want it to be from any lab that we're working with. So that way it's one click. And as you can see in your cart, all the tests that you're looking to add within that specific bundle are added into your cart. Below that, you can create a favorites list as well. So similar to a bundle, a favorites list is a, just an individual test that you're most commonly using. So as opposed to having to go through again and search through the entire catalog, which you of course have access to, to find specific tests, you can add a little heart next to your most commonly used tests. And so that way, those will be the first tests that you're seeing as you're ready to place an order. So that way it's just one click. And again, your tests are just added right into your cart over on the right-hand side that you can see. Let's chat about how everything else works in the details of how we're operating here in terms of shipping. So. All of our tests are defaulted to be drop shipped directly to the patient. We found in the day and age of COVID and a lot of practitioners working in telehealth, they prefer to have these kits shipped directly to their patients for a couple other reasons too, right? Uh, a lot of practitioners prefer just to not have a bunch of kits stocked and taking up inventory in their offices, right? We do work with a few labs that offer in-office kits, meaning that they'll be shipped to you as a practitioner. You'll be able to print out the requisition and manage everything with the patient in person. But as I mentioned and alluded to, all of our tests will default to be drop shipped directly to the patient. If there's any add-on tests, it's as easy as clicking this add-on test button here. It'll bring up all of the uh, details regarding this test, sample type, turnaround times. You can download a copy of the instructions that will be sending to the patient. But if you want your own on hand, you have access to that. Any sample reports, if there's biomarkers, you can expand this out and view all the biomarkers. But if there's just an add-on test you're looking for, it's as simple as clicking this add-on test here. It'll be added in there. Chatting about how payment works. It'll be defaulted to having us invoice the patient directly. But again, if you choose to pay for the test, you of course have that option here. You simply click this box. You can add all your payment information here. It'll save it to your account so you don't have to repeat it every single time. But again, of course, with that option, it's up to you to manage the billing. So we work with a ton of practitioners, of course, that offer programs, say three week, four week, eight week programs, however you wanna make it. And then of course, the cost of those tests are included in that bundle. This would be that option available for you here. And then you of course manage the billing separately with the patient outside of everything. 
you get a note for the patient. So if the patient needs to be taking specific supplements during their testing period, notes for RUPA. If, for example, you want us to fax you the uh, results as they come in, any ICD-10 code. So if the patient does want to submit things to as a super bill to their uh, insurance for reimbursement at a later date, they have that option here. But if none of that, you go ahead and just click send to patient and you're good to go. That's how you place an order on RUPA. Extremely streamlined, much simpler in all of your labs in one place just to kind of hammer that point home. Where you'll go ahead and track all of your orders is right here within the dashboard. You can search for specific patients. You can run filters by status of your orders. So we'll update the status of each of your orders along the way. So if I wanna hop in here and see all my pending payment orders, this is a really simple way to follow up with patients or clients, right? These are all orders that have been sent to the patients or clients that they haven't paid for yet, right? So we'll say, hey, Joe Smith, we'll see that we sent you this order here on June 1st. You haven't completed the payment on that. What's going on? What can we help you with? Any questions that you might have? Additionally, you can click into any order at any given time and get an update of what the status of that order is. So as you can see here, this is an order with three different labs, three different tests, and we'll go ahead and update that information as it comes along. So as you can see, the sample arrived at uh, Great Plains on June 1st, and we're expecting the results to come in on June 12th. And then lastly, of course, you're alerted as the results come in, you're able to view the results all within the group of dashboard. So again, as you can see here, a number of different tests, all ordered from different labs. I can download the results. I can send the results directly to the patient. We'll never send the results directly to the patient. Um, so we'll leave that up to you. You can schedule a clinical consult should you need some additional help um, scheduling or, or excuse me, rather interpreting the results. We have that option here. And then of course you can download and view the requisition. So that's just to show you how simple it is to place an order as well as track and manage the status of all of your orders in one place on Rupa Health. Just to give you an idea of all of the labs that we're working with, all the tests that we have to offer, you can find that right here in the lab test catalog. So within the lab test catalog, you'll see all the labs that we're working with over here on the left-hand side, and then all the tests that we offer over here on the right-hand side. You can search for specific results, you can run filters, you can click into the details, which I showed you earlier. We'll show you all the details of that test. And of course, you can build out your favorites list directly within this uh, screen here as well, and even filter by sample type. So as you can see, over 20 different labs that we're offering, over 2,000 different tests here on Rupa. What's great about Rupa is, you know, not only are all your tests in one place, but you actually only need one Rupa account, uh, meaning that said you want to work with any of our labs, you don't have to go through and create an account with each individual lab. You need one Rupa account and we take care of everything else for you, um, what is creating your, account, uh, creating your accounts with these labs, so on and so forth. What I'm going to show you real quick as well is just the patient experience, right? So what does it look like as soon as you place an order with Rupa? Here's a timeline. Your patient will receive an email from us uh, let them know that the test has been ordered. The kits will be shipped out within 24 hours. We'll go ahead and send over those FAQs and instructions, check in with the patient, and then of course you're notified as the results come in. Here's what those communications will look like. And this is an example of what the communications will look like. Um, should, us, should we be the ones invoicing the patient directly? Hi, Joshua, Dr. Jordan has ordered these tests for you. We'll introduce who we are. Um, we'll highlight the different options that we take in terms of payments. So not only cash and credit, but we can do HSA, FSA, as well as a three-month interest-free payment plan. What's really important here at Rupa is that we want to lower the barrier of entry to get access to this testing, right? And this is one of the ways that we do that. Another one of the ways that we do this is that we offer wholesale practitioner rates. So this is actually something that I want to jump back to. Our pricing here, as you can see here, is $250. So all the prices that you're going to find within Rupa are going to be the same prices that you would get having an account directly with any of our labs. We don't upcharge them or anything of that nature. And we also offer those prices directly to your patients as well. The way that we generate our revenue is there's a flat 7% processing and order fee on each order. So as you can see, that's broken down here. So about $500 worth of tests, that processing and ordering fee will be $33. That's how we generate our revenue here at Rupa Health. And that's actually paid for by whoever's paying for the test themselves. So meaning if we're the ones invoicing the patients, they would be the one absorbing that cost and vice versa, should you be the one paying for those tests. Now that's the only time that you're ever gonna see a bill from Rupa. Uh, meaning that if we're actually invoicing the patient directly for all your orders, Rupa is a free platform to sign up for and use. You'll never see a bill from Rupa, which is pretty amazing. Jumping back into it, right? We'll collect all of the information necessary to complete the order from the patient, as I mentioned earlier. Over here on the right-hand side, we'll go ahead and highlight the different tests that were ordered from them. And then I'll show you what it looks like if you decide to pay for the tests. So again, we'll alert the patient, should you be the ones ordering the tests, uh, once you order the test for the patient. But if you pay for the tests, excuse me. If you pay for the test yourself, 
you'll go ahead and be able, we're not going to show that cost. I apologize, guys. Thank you, everybody who is attending today's live demo. We are having just a minor technical in, uh, issue, but for those of who are attending, feel free to email Adrian directly as well. His email is within the chat box, so feel free to shoot him an email if you like any more questions uh, or interested in, in learning more about Rupa. I'll hand it back to you, Adrian, now. Hey, apologize about that, y'all. I have uh, a couple barky dogs with me here, and uh, the house cleaner just arrived, so my apologies for that in the background. I'll run through this just very briefly. Um, notifications, what I really wanna highlight real quick is that we will go ahead and send all over all the FAQs and instructions directly to the patients yourself or for you, right? So if there's any questions, if there's a phlebotomy required, we can manage that entire process um, and they'll go ahead and reach out to us. So we'll offload all of that heavy lifting onto our shoulders. And then of course, even up to any specimen issues. From there, you're notified as the results come in and that's about it, y'all. So if there's any questions, feel free to reach out directly to me. I dropped my email in the chat box, but it's adrian at rupahealth.com. So that's just adrian at rupahealth.com. And I look forward to hearing from a few of y'all to uh, hop on a personal demo.